welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at protecting notes on iOS and Mac, and that includes using Touch ID on iPhone and iPad. To start, your device is going to need to be running iOS 9.3. Now I'm going to demo everything here on an iPhone, but it'll apply to an iPad as well. So here we have the new notes application, and if I have something super secretive like this grocery list I don't want anyone to see, I can hit the share sheet in the top right corner and then hit the lock button. If this is the first time locking a note, it'll have you create a password, but I've already done it before, so it simply just lets me lock the note. I'll then have a new lock icon in that top hand corner, which allows me to lock and unlock it at will. When I go to unlock the note, it gives me an option to either enter a password or use Touch ID. Obviously, most of the time it's going to be easier to use Touch ID, but that password is there as a backup regardless. That is also used if you have these notes synced to a Mac, because on the new version of OS X, you have the ability to lock notes there, and it will sync those passwords across. So you do use one password for all of your notes across all of your devices. So if we want to ever change that password, you can do so from within the settings app. So we'll go ahead into settings, then we'll go down to notes. Once in here, we have the ability to go into lock notes and we can opt whether or not to use touch ID at all. And then we can change or even reset that password. If you're going to change it, you have to put in the old password as well as a new one and even a hint if you would like one. So that covers how to lock, unlock notes, remove a lock, add a lock, and how to change your passwords on a phone or a iPad. So now let's take a look at the Mac. So as long as your Mac is running OS X version 10.11.4, we're going to head and go and open the notes app. And here we have our super secret grocery list and you can see it's already brought over that password that I assigned it on my phone. Now on the phone, that lock was inside of that share sheet, but on the Mac we have a toolbar and we have a lock icon instead. That allows us to close all the lock notes or remove the lock from this particular note. Obviously on the Mac there is no Touch ID as of yet, so you do have to use the password if you're doing it on your Mac. So if you want to see actually when you have a note that's locked, if we go ahead and lock this note, you'll notice there a little lock icon will appear right next to the date on the top, as well as on the left hand side in the list of notes. So on the iPhone and iPad, we went into the settings application, but on the Mac, we can just go to notes and we can see change password, reset password, or close all notes. So that pretty much covers protecting notes on iOS and Mac. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments below and please subscribe if you found this video useful. Until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.